So I got a 2013 Chevy Malibu with one of the hybrids. Now, this thing had caused him problems one other time with his bracket that holds his drive motor broke. So after replacing the, the bracket that broke, eventually it broke again. And it's on national back order right now. <clears throat> so he had a guy weld it. And right there is where he welded it. He did a pretty good job, I'm impressed. If you notice, that tensioner right here is also new now. So if you have one of these and you find that that bracket broke, change the bracket, the tensioner, and that belt all in one assembly. If not, you'll be changing the bracket again. Now, I'm no expert on these hybrid cars, but there is covers with orange tags and stuff. That's three phase AC voltage, so don't take them off and start putting your bare hands in there. You need the right kind of gloves. Now what he had was after he replaced all this, on the dashboard it would show that it was charging from the generator and put, but the batteries in the back was down to 5% and they weren't showing a charge when you were slowing down on the inside dashboard gauge. So I was just thinking you didn't have a problem until that broke. And when that broke, I'm sure it set a lot of DTC codes and stuff like that. And I think uh might have had it locked out. It was, wasn't letting it charge. The POA90, POAB9, POAFA. Then there was a PO102 and a PO113, mass airflow and air intake. So with the intake air temperature and the map sensor code, if you notice it's right here in the area that would be needed to replace this. So there's a good likeliness that this could have been disconnected and the key turned on. See, here's your little drive motor. These are the batteries back underneath the seat there by the trunk. And then this is the wheels. You'll see a green arrow when you're driving. You'll see it putting torque from the drive motor out to the front wheels. And then you'll see it also when you slow down, you'll see the green come from here and has arrows coming into the drive motor. and then. It, you'll see the battery charging. Well, his problem was the battery was down here on the bottom one and it never, this part would work, but it never took a charge in the batteries. Now, knowing that this has happened before that broke and the original GM dealership, when they did it, they um, reset everything. So that's what I figured. That's the same scenario happened. Let's try to reset some stuff. Scroll down, you'll come to hybrid powertrain control module. And under the codes, that's where I'd found those codes. And then I come down here to functional tests. And here we have a bunch of different things. Now this BPP sensor learn, that's your brake pedal. You just have the car sitting there with the brake pedal all the way up and you run that and it resets the brake pedal. Then you got the drive motor pump relay. Um, and here, I went to the cooling fan because they say that the cooling fan would quit for some reason. And you have a thing here you can test it. Now if you click on that, it'll come up a plus and a minus and you can make the fan go up. So I clicked on that and the fan, and I could hear the fan in the back working because in the back, by the back seats, there's a fan that cools the batteries. Okay, so once I knew the fan was working, I went on up here to clear secured high voltage DTCs. And at this point, I went up here and I hit the clear button. Okay, and that cleared those codes. If you look here, the state of battery pack charge is 47%. It was 5% when we started all this. Now also, you see it says B. ECM clear secured high voltage DTCs. I went into there and I also again I clicked up here and I cleared them. It tells you the drive motor belt slip percentage and the drive motor belt maximum detected slip. If you notice both of those are zero. So that's telling me that the belt 
for the drive motor should not be slipping. So after I went in here and cleared the BECM high voltage, and I cleared this one, the HPCM clear high voltage data. After I cleared them two, I went to here, and I did their, what they told me to do, which was just to hit the button, leave the brake pedal up, and does the relearn. Another thing I did, I went up here, and I'd done code scan to start with, so I cleared all the DTC set under code scan. That would be the mass airflow sensor and stuff. Before you clear codes, though, if you can, take snapshots of what the codes are and anything like that, and also the freeze frame data because freeze frame data can tell you a lot about when it happened, what was going on. So try to save those before you start just clearing everything. You'll see the coming out and the arrows going to the wheels whenever you're putting power down. When you're coming to a slow down or braking, you'll see it coming this way and going in. And then you'll see this battery meter highlight and start taking a charge. That's where the problem was before. This battery was always grayed out, kinda. And it was only on the bottom green thing was only one showing. So I can kind of see how it's going out from the drive motor in the middle out to the wheels. That's because I'm putting power down. Here in a second, I'll let up. See how it changes? See how it's coming in to there and then the battery lit up? The battery never lit up like that before. Okay. As you're driving, it would switch back to engine power to um, battery charge, engine idle. It said everything correctly, and that's what made me think that the drive motor is probably working okay, but it just wasn't going back to the batteries for some reason. I think the DTCs had it locked out. The codes did. If you can see there, the auto stop is working. Once the battery started getting charged up again in the back, the auto stop started working. So if you have any of these problems after that breakage of the bracket, resetting everything might be the way to go instead of replacing everything. I'm hoping you can see all this. This fan up on top is what I turned on to make sure the cooling fan was good. There is a reset button thing in this right here. You gotta take a lock and you slide that switch over and that disconnects all the batteries from the front of the engine off of that orange wire. So anything dealing with that orange wire, stay away from unless you know what you're doing. Um, this is the lockout for the batteries so you can lock the batteries out. That's the air intake that cools the batteries. So don't lay papers, magazines or anything like that over top of that. That has to be open. So right now it looks like everything's working right. The mass airflow sensor and everything seems to be working right, not throwing a code and all.